there. I am going to work on my bathroom sink, which has gotten really sluggish and slow. Think about grabbing that chemical and dumping it down there and chew away all that hair and sludge. But it's really not that hard to do. This bathroom sink has really started to bug me. You know, it gets to the point where I think, you know, I've got long hair and it gathers up in there and once it gets started then it starts collecting more sludge and more stuff and anything that goes down um, it just starts getting worse and worse and collects more and more until it I can't even keep it clean it hardly drains at all I've got my helper here this is Gator and he's yep yeah, he just had a little dinner so one of the things you want for this project is something like this that can get some water underneath it just sort of put it down there to collect the water there's my sink and um, underneath of course I'm sure you have all kinds of junk so that's got to all come out get moved aside so you've got room to work got the bathroom sink all cleared out here except for Gator who has decided now this is a fun place to be Maybe there's a little spider or something he's playing with. Anyway, that only took about five minutes. So I wanted to point out that another tool that you'll need for this is one of these hair snares. This one is actually called a zip it. And um, I don't know, there's other brands of almost identical products. I think I got this at the local hardware store for, I don't know, maybe three dollars. Um, it's been a while. It lasts forever. I got this um, white basin under here to catch any drips. The first thing you want to do is get this bar off of here. And it's got a little clip. You should make note of which hole it was in, otherwise you're going to have problems later on. So then, you can unscrew this. It should just be finger tightened. Don't cramp down on it real hard when you do it. Again, because you break the plastic. And this little thing comes out. And there's a bunch of hair already caught on there. It's just disgusting. I'm just going to drop that in the basin. This little plug here just goes up. And that's your plug. You know, that goes up and down. I'll go up and show you from the top. But that's all there is to taking the part at the bottom. It's really not that big of a deal. So here we are up above. I had unscrewed this and I didn't really have to do that, but <clears throat> it did help me get some of the gook out. So this is, you know, if you're really squeamish about this stuff, you might not want to watch because it's going to be pretty gross. So you stick your zip it down there in the hole, and I can just tell there's so much hair down there, it's just really disgusting. And it just grabs on those little hooks. Just grabs on and pulls it out. I'm sure it's compostable, but by God, look at that. It looks like a dead mouse. It's not. It's mostly my hair like I say it just one or two hairs gets washed down another couple of hairs gets washed down and pretty soon you got a big wad of stuff and then everything else that goes down gets and it starts growing all kinds of algae and junk it's just gross just gross I think I might get a flashlight, just take a peek down in there. I'm looking down in here with the flashlight. It's 
pretty clear and I ran some water. So that's that. I mean, it's really, that's the worst of it. I'm going to go ahead and wash this, um, this plug and then we'll get the whole thing hooked back up again and you're done. Good to go, folks. I mean, it is just, hooking it back up can be a little tricky and we'll go through that, but by and large, you know, it's not a horrible job. That's what I said. End of the day, I'm tired. I thought, you know, I can do this. The part that's a little tricky about, I washed the sink, because I just had to see it clean. You guys think I'm a slob, I'm sure. Anyway, it's, this plunger has like a hole in the end, and it's got a tab in this hole, and um, dang, I can't get it clean. Get it clean and then it's dirty again. Anyway, you put that hole so it's facing the faucet exactly that way. Otherwise, you're going to have trouble putting this little stick back through here. So try and get it as square on as you can and drop it in there. So now, if we did everything right, we can just see how this little thing has a white ball and it keeps it from going all the way in. There, that just went right in. Now this is the thing that makes the plunger go up and down. Let's go upstairs and see if this is working right. I've got my arm underneath. See? It's all hooked up. It's hooked up to that thing because it's going up and down when I do that. I'm still holding on as I get underneath here. I don't want it to fall out because we got it perfect. That's the really the trickiest part. And if it doesn't cooperate, ugh, you can you can stick your arm under there. This part is the critical thing that holds the little white ball in there for the plunger. And you screw it back on. And you put this on. And then you put that on. And we had it on the third hole. And then we slip this other guy on and it's clipped on. See? Just like that. Now, we may have to adjust the other clip up there. But let's go see how it's working. I just thought I'd show you now. We're up above again. Bam. Opens and closes. You can adjust how high the thing goes with the various little attachments and screws down there, but I'm liking that 100%. So that holds water nice. Down it goes. What a relief it is. Yay! See? Now, that's with me videoing. I don't know how long that took. Probably seemed like forever. But it really wasn't bad. So, here it is. Ready. I'm done. I can go eat dinner now and know that my sink is draining and I will be able to brush my teeth and wash my face tonight without the sink filling up. And it gets to be clean. Yay! I decided today to work on um, my other bathroom, which is um, my laundry room and a little uh, quarter bath, half bath that's back here. And this is where I normally keep my foster kittens when I'm fostering. And I'm in between batches of kittens right now. And the sink has been very slow, so I thought today was going to be a good day to work on unclogging that sink. Um, and also, it's been having a problem with um, leaking around the faucet and getting down here. And I've always kept a towel down here, but I was going to show you what you might find once you get under your sink and when to decide to call it quits and not go too far uh, with your repairs. Um, 
it got a little beyond just unclogging the sink. That was the easy part. So I'll show you what I found under here and it might be similar to what you find if you're not used to looking under your sink a lot. Here's the back up view of it. Um, I knew this was coming apart. Um, it's just particle board and it, since it had been leaking it has been kind of gradually getting decomposed and then of course the kittens just love to get anything like this and yank it off and make things much worse. So I'm going to take that front board off and um, replace it and then I started looking at it going well obviously this has water damage so um, I don't know if I'm going to remove that. Probably not. I may just do a quick sanding and painting, but if you go to sell your house, this is the kind of thing they will look for. You know, warping like back there. And then this wall is peeling, which shows that it has been wet down here for quite some time. And so going up under here, I... Uh, loosen these and I thought well I'll just replace the fixture because it's leaking up around the base of the fixture. I managed to get those undone with a rubber mallet. You don't ever ever want to get uh, force things too much because these are little plastic parts and plumbing by and large should be hand tightened um, and that's about it. You should rely on the rubber gaskets and stuff that are uh, used for packing it um, into the fitting so you should not need a lot of wrenches and stuff to tighten things down real hard so I thought well I'll just replace that faucet up there and then I came down here which of course you have to shut the water off before you start disconnecting things and uh, these faucets will not budge I broke a little teeny piece off here when I started with a rubber mallet just tapping it to see if I could get him to budge because I can't get him to move by hand at all. The rubber mallet didn't do it so I got a wrench but I didn't put a lot of force on it but this is just crumbling away and uh, which tells me of course I have a lot of minerals in the water here and uh, the hard water deposit just ends up being uh, corro corroding and um, locking up a lot of things. So at this point I decided, now this is beyond me, I had to turn the water off at the street and um, completely take this off and hope it isn't locked into place permanently. Once you start doing that if it doesn't come off easily back there so you can replace this entire faucet then you're talking about getting into the wall and there's a possibility if you crank on this hard enough that it might come unscrewed back in the wall and then you'd start getting a leak in the wall then you'd have to open the wall up so this is where I call it quits and I say nope I am not going to go into that I will get the leak fixed and I've got the sink unclogged and I will scrape that paint back there and get it nicely painted up and I'll sand the bottom here and replace the wood in the front and then up above what I did since I loosened those things I can lift this up I don't have to shut the water off and I scrubbed really good down around here and I'm going to put a little bead of caulk around there which is where it's leaking when the water gets on here it leaks around this because this gasket is old and I just I wanted to replace this but it just gets into all kinds of hairy stuff so I've got this propped up right now with just a pair of pliers you could use anything um, to let it dry really good under there and then I'll just run some caulk put it back down while it's still wet, tighten it up from below and um, and then it'll be good to go. I'm not going to get into that issue where the, the faucets are seized up. Uh, it, it's just more than I want to do. So 
just know that there is a point if you force stuff then you're going to have to call a plumber if you break off those faucets get too heavy-handed with plumbing you, whew, you can have water spurting all over the place you have to shut it off at the main and get a plumber out on an emergency call you don't want to do that so not everything is DIY okay um, just know what your limit is and I think this is it for me <laughs> We'll make do with what we've got. So, that's it. And I just thought I'd remind you, like everybody else on YouTube, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And hit subscribe. And hit the bell. And you'll get notified of when I do other videos. Thanks a lot. Happy plumbing! <laughs>